I did not have the microphone on. Okay, I've been recording a video and I did not have my microphone on. Good, good start. Hey everyone, it's Judy here and welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now it has been quite a while since we've been here but I am super excited to be back. And there have been some changes to Seychelles Island since the last time we were together. So for one, I might have destroyed most if not all of my house. So I kind of just live in a blank abyss at the moment. I also- Oh my gosh, there's a rainbow! Oh my gosh, that's so pretty! Wait, we have to go look at that. Look at the- Oh my gosh, it's a double rainbow! Look, it's so lovely! Look how beautiful that is! I guess that's a good omen for us coming back today. We're greeted immediately with a double rainbow. Anyways, as I was saying, there have been a lot of changes to the island, so among most of the inside, all of the inside of my house being destroyed, I also currently live on a pillar of dirt. So when I built my house, I thought if I put it at the top level at the very back of my island, I'd have a beautiful ocean view and I'd be living my best ocean beach house mansion life. But actually, I can't see the water at all unless I pan the camera down. Which kind of gives off the vibe of like if you buy waterfront property but the only way you can see the water is if you stand up on the edge of your toilet and pin your face against the window and look to the left. And that's that's just not what I'm going for here. So I want to move my house down to the first level of my island so I can actually see the water behind it. But for the time being, it's just convenient to live on a pillar of dirt because it gives me convenient access to the rest of my town. I have some ramps here and then the rest of Seychelles is right over in this direction. So even though it looks a bit ridiculous, it's just a convenient transportation system. Do you remember when this area looked nice? What a blast from the past. In my last video, I designed the area around Eunice's house, and I was trying to go for more of a foresty, cottagecore vibe for Seychelles. And off camera, I have pretty much just continued to flatten my island. Back here, I started planting some trees of different variations and sizes, just to make terraforming a bit easier. But most of my island is pretty empty, and this... You didn't see this. Olivia is fine, I promise. New Horizons has a lot of customizability options which makes it a super fun game to get creative with but also a very very overwhelming game. I remember when I was making a lot more videos of Animal Crossing and a lot of people were resetting their islands and trying different themes and I think that's great but I'm a very very sentimental person and Animal Crossing to me is like my home. Like even this YouTube channel, we are the Crossing family this channel is meant to be a home. I I just want to cherish every day and every little moment. So what I want to try doing this time is kind of a let's play series, but it's not entirely from the beginning. So we'll start today and just kind of go through our days and life and such together. But I'm trying to not put a ton of pressure on it. For me, Animal Crossing is more about getting to know your villagers, which is why I started the You Don't Know This Villager series, because I feel like New Horizons didn't always do the best job of showing these villagers backstories. People were trading villagers for Nook Mile tickets and selling them on Nookazon just for their aesthetics. And there's, there's just so much more that goes into the design of these villagers than just that. And I don't know, maybe I just overthink absolutely everything and I'm about to hug this rock. It's a beautiful rock, isn't it? But basically what I'm trying to explain is this is going to be the first episode of an attempted revival let's play. And it, it's a mostly blank slate. I am going to go around town and talk to all of the villagers and try to get to know them again. Because it's, it's been a while since I've played in general, but most of my houses are currently on the beach. But before we get into the episode, I'm going to do a slight, like, micro tour of Seychelles because there's really not much. Most of it is in complete chaotic disarray. 
So in my second to last video, I had started terraforming my river mouth just to make it look a bit more natural. I can't change the shape of it up here, but I think adding these cascading waterfalls did break it up really well. I do want to change the type of plants I have here, but overall, I'm happy with the waterscaping I did here. I think it looks alright. You are of course also able to climb around and get some different views. And I, I think this area looks really nice. I will say it's not designed for this time of year, so the brown grass looks a little strange, especially with the green mums back there. They look like they are absolutely glowing. But we can change everything out to make it more fall themed later on. That's not something I'm gonna stress about right now. Now this sort of elevated island is part of Eunice's front yard. It's just a nice little spot for her to come and sit down and relax and I wanted it to have a nice view so to the right you have this beautiful beach view. Pretend that I've decorated the beach and it looks really nice please. And then to the left you also have some more cascading waterfalls which I absolutely adore waterfalls. I actually have a little tabletop waterfall like three feet in front of me right now in real life. So wherever I can squeeze in a waterfall I pretty much always do. I also really like the viewpoint of this area. And then this is an area that I changed and also this is the wrong pattern. Okay, one second. Pretend you didn't see that. As I was saying, we have a tiny library here where you can grab a book and replace the book. But if you need a few more options to read, you have a full outdoor library here as well. Now something I did change from the last video, I added in some string lights because these look so good at night. Since I stopped posting videos, I went off and became a flight attendant in real life. So I am usually playing Animal Crossing at very obscure times of day. So I did start adding in a lot of these string lights because I feel like they just make the island look so cozy when you're playing in the middle of the night. And it just, it makes me feel at home when I am nowhere near it. I also changed the area in front of Eunice's house. I gave her a little desk and I do want to make this fall themed as well. I think that would be super cute. But I'm trying not to decorate too much right now because I tend to get caught up in decorating before I even finish the build. So for example, I'll start building something and decorate it for Christmas, but then Christmas ends and I haven't built anything else. And all I have is a tiny slither of island decorated for Christmas and the rest of my island is completely empty. And I'm trying to break the cycle. And I really wanted to make one of these fallen tree bridges, so I did that. I'm still trying to decide if I want to make it water on both sides, if I want to add another waterfall. I have a problem, I am addicted, and I do need help. At least I can admit that. Right now I don't think that this waterfall here even makes sense because there's a water basin there, so I feel like if there is going to be water next to the log, it should at least connect to the water over there, but for the water to connect to that water, I have to get rid of those two trees and I don't want to get rid of the trees, but that micro tour catches you up on everything that you have already seen so far. Now as for the new bits that I've built off camera, I started creating a main street, but I wanted it to be as if it's in the woods. So over here we have Nook's Cranny tucked in and then I had the vision that Leaf would come into town. I know he comes to resident services, but in my mind, in my heart and my dreams, Leaf would come here and sell saplings and flowers and this would be like his little temporary stall setup. And then over here, this area is where all the residents of Seychelles would come to sell any baked goods they have, fruits, basically like a farmer's market area. And if you remember in Animal Crossing New Leaf, you would walk to the end of Main Street and there was a little bench there where you'd just be overlooking the ocean. And I wanted to pay homage to that by creating my own bench at the end of Main Street. However, this one just overlooks a small creek. And of course, another waterfall. I promise the next build I show you won't have a waterfall. Then right next to Nook's Cranny, I'm planning on putting the Able Sisters here, which is why I do have a loom there. But that has not happened yet because I just can't decide how I want to do it. Like I know I want to have another micro store, like these ones here in front of it. I just don't have the vision for it in my mind yet. When you go down the ramp, you're able to walk by the little duck pond, which takes you to resident services. And can I just say, I really love this corner. The luscious forest, the different tree sizes, it just, it makes my heart happy. Also the corner back there behind the pond. These filler areas may seem very basic, but I promise you, I spent like six hours 
trying to decide where I was going to place a bush and where I was going to place a wheat field. These are serious decisions. Today is a Saturday, so KK is in town, so maybe we can get him to perform for us later. It's also the first day of fall in real life. It was hot just yesterday, and it's been raining since yesterday. But yesterday it was a warm rain, this morning it was cold cold. So I put on my classic yellow raincoat and I went for a long walk at 6 in the morning. But I really enjoyed it. I am 100% a autumn winter person. I kind of just hibernate in summer, so I'm so excited that the temperature is finally getting colder out here. Now in front of resident services, I had a very small slither of space. So I figured what I'm going to do is make it like a marketplace. I honestly just thought that stacking up a bunch of stalls and putting lights between them would be a nice way to cover up the cliffs. I was also thinking that I could place stuff on the stalls depending on the season. But again, I'm trying not to decorate until I have more of my town built. So for now, we just have this generic little town plaza space. But something I like about it is the build I have in front doesn't look terrible. Like if I walk right up against this wall, it just looks like a bunch of pretty trees. Like, yeah, you can't see anything, but you also can't see anything bad. I really want my town to look beautiful from every possible angle. I also put these lights here solely so that I could put seasonal decorations on the little banners. Right now there's dirt on them, but just, just imagine that there's like a little turkey day cute Thanksgiving banner on there, okay? Okay, thank you. Now the very last area I have to show you is right up here. And when I was trying to start playing Animal Crossing again, this is the first area I built. It is inspired by my favorite movie, which is My Neighbor Totoro, and it's a little bus stop. And I just, I really, 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 really love the layered trees and the lighthouse and just everything about this scene right here. It just makes me happy. For a really long time, I was afraid of looking at Pinterest or Instagram or anything because I was scared I'm not making 100% original content if I get any inspiration from anything but my own brain. But by overthinking and being so scared, I was actually just paralyzing myself. So placing the little gas station there and the park clock next to it was not my original authentic idea. I saw it on Pinterest. I thought it looked super cute. I am a dirty, filthy cheater. But see, I think the thing I didn't realize, it's okay to take inspiration. The beach is an overwhelming thing to design in Animal Crossing. It's just so much sand, it's an awkward shape, the ground is not level, it twists and turns and curves, and originally I wanted to put a railroad on it, but it just looked so ridiculous that I figured making a sand road would look a lot better because at least now the road is able to curve with the beach. And then to border the beach, I just created a forest. Right here you can see that I do have a little Totoro, so he is probably going to be making his way to the bus stop anytime soon. Then next to him, I tucked Humphrey's house in and I was really proud of this build as well. I just think that his house looks so cozy, tucked in between the trees there. You would never imagine that this would be right next to the beach does not look very coastal at all, but I love it for that. It's giving the forest vibe that I've always wanted my island to have. And as you can see, I have just been layering trees like crazy. That is pretty much my hobby now, it's just playing Animal Crossing and layering tons and tons of trees, and somehow not getting on Tom Nook's last nerve from the obscene amount of wheat fields that I order on a daily basis. So without further ado, I'd like to welcome you and Humphrey, apparently, to the first episode of the Let's Play Revival series. So right off the start here, I think we need to catch up with our villagers. Oh my goodness, does he have a little cider? Oh no, he has like a little orange soda. Oh my goodness, that's adorable. How have you been, Humphrey? In case you heard the story going around that I unearthed an amazing buried treasure, the truth is that I managed to dig up some old marbles from when I was just a little kiddo. Funny how my being excited about finding some old toys got turned into a tall tale forgotten treasure. Oh, so Hamphrey is like the treasure finder of Seychelles right now. I've been so out of the loop because I haven't really gotten the chance to talk to anybody. But Fleur Bean is home, let's see what she's up to. Oh, Judy's visiting as well. Can I eavesdrop on their conversation? Are they talking? Oh no, they're not talking right now. But, I am being introduced. Welcome, Judy's here too. I am, I just stopped by for a chat. 
Is it weird to love an object because I'm basically in love with my piano bench? It's my favorite place to study or write and it's so comfortable. Oh, I'm glad she likes it. Well, well, you're here to see Flurry too. Great minds think alike. Well, what's new? Don't you think the layout here is just so fresh and energetic? Flurry is a design guru. Yeah, I, I do. I think her house is really nice. She's actually not playing KK Dirge now. So for the longest time, when Flurry first moves into your island, her starting song is KK Dirge, and it is the creepiest, scariest song in the whole game. And I hated it because every time I was visiting her, I felt like I was entering Ica Village, which was this really popular dream address with this horror town back in New Leaf. So I gifted her a song, assuming that she was going to put it in the radio and start listening to it. And she just sat it down on the floor right here. Ah, oh, I see you've noticed my KK Waltz. Yeah, I have. I noticed that you put the song I got you on the floor. You love the cover art. It's so neat. It makes a great decoration. I guess throwing it on the floor next to the door is a little bit better than straight up throwing it away, but don't try to act like you just like the cover art. You know you could have hung it up on the wall. What song is playing right now? You bought a second copy of the song I gave you? Flurry, you or somebody else gave her a copy of the same song and she decided to put that one in the radio but the one I gave her goes on the floor you know Flurry, you have been my best friend since you first came into existence but sometimes you really leave me wondering look at how she's following Judy and just smiling behind her I mean, Judy is watering her plant, which is a bit more helpful than me just standing here judging her for her actions. But I don't know, I feel like there's some favoritism happening here. In fact, I bet the other Judy gave her that song. Who knows, there might be some drama starting on Seychelles. Is Marshall home? Oh, he is. Let's go visit him. Hey, it's Saturday. What's your favorite thing to do on the weekend? I like to kick back and do a little volleyball, maybe spend some time doing brain teasers. I'm just messing with you. I spend 98% of the weekend taking selfies. Marshall, I don't think I've taken 98 selfies in my entire lifespan. I'm sure Marshall has like 2 million followers on Instagram. So I was reading this book that I just couldn't put down. Then I put it down one time and now it's lost? Oh, well, I'll keep an eye out for it. That would be such a huge help. I was in the middle of such a good part when I lost it. Oh, no worries, Marshall. If I see a book, I'll bring it back to you. Imagine spending your entire weekend taking selfies. Oh, look at that. He was taking so many pictures. He couldn't even make it more than one, two, three, maybe four feet from his house. And he couldn't find it. Marshall, buddy, I love you, but you need some other hobbies. You dropped it right next to your house. Oh, Snowflake, now I can finally find out what happens next. Before I forget, I've got to make this up to you. Oh, you didn't have to get me anything. I happen to have an extra paper tiger, so enjoy. Oh, that's such a cute item. Thank you so much, Marshall. Checking out my super cozy piano bench, eh? I had it custom engineered to match every curve of my body. In layman's term, it's like a cloud hugging my butt. The piano benches are so popular today. I guess that they're probably some of the most comfortable chairs you can get. Now we do have a couple of new villagers in Seychelles, one of them being Olivia. She lived in my Animal Crossing population growing town and I absolutely love her. I mean, she bullied me and made me cry hundreds of times, but I still love her. Let's check in with her as well. I find the autumn breeze so alluring. There's nothing like watching the falling leaves blowing on the wind. Alas, there is one problem. It leaves my hair an absolute mess. See, I love her. For a second there, I was like, this doesn't sound like Olivia, and then she worried about her hair, and I was like, that sounds like Olivia. And then here we have Frida's house, so Frida is going to be my next you-don't-know-this-villager villager. So she is temporarily living here while I interrogate her and get to know her better. Look how cute Olivia is over here, chasing this grasshopper. It does seem like I'm seeing a lot of you lately, doesn't it? This is only my second time talking to you, I just wanted to ask you about the grasshopper. Here's Frida, our temporary villager for now. There's nothing comfier than my hot dog costume. Doesn't matter if I'm gardening up a sweat outside or just chilling on the couch, these clothes rock. Well, Frida, I'm glad you like them. For, for me, I just prefer um, more neutral clothing. 
options, but that's just me. Everyone has their own style. Or at least everyone thinks they do. Alright, so I wonder if Apple- oh, she is home. When it comes to the world of fad fashion, what do you think is the most important part of being stylish? Some folks' philosophy is that they need to wear exactly what everyone else does. But me, I'd rather define fashion than just follow it. You know, Apple, that's a very good attitude to have. It seems to be something that you and Frida share. But speaking of fashion, I do want to see if the Able Sisters has any cute fall wear. I was struggling so much picking my outfit today, so I just went with like an academia sort of look, because that's how I usually dress in real life. But I do want to find more fall clothes. Oh my gosh, this is so cute, a little farmer outfit. I do really want to turn the left side of my island into a farmland, so I kind of want all of this. I think I have the straw hat already, but the farmer overalls are adorable, and the boots. I feel like I need to go through my closet though, because what if I already own it? But I could always give a set to Flurry. That is, if she even wants to match outfits with me, or if she would prefer to match with the other Judy. It's okay. It's okay. I'm only crying inside. What does Cap'n do? Is going on a tour with Cap'n the same thing as going to the islands where you go villager hunting? Or does he take you to a different type of island? I don't think I've ever gone on a Cap'n tour. I don't think I should go with my pockets full, because I'm holding a bunch of plants right now. I really don't remember what Cap'n does, but at least we still have our little pill bugs on a date. See, this is the area that I want to turn into Seychelles farmland. And then I think I want to put Apple in charge of the farmland. Oh, and it seems like we do have a bulletin, so let's see what that says. Halloween party news. Oh boy. I, I think it's a little bit late for this announcement. Turkey Day though, that is coming up. I haven't played the Turkey Day event since they added cooking to the game, so I'm actually really excited to see what that's like. I also want to see if the Nooklings are selling anything interesting. Another thing I did while I was gone is I got rid of most of the stuff in my house inventory just so I could slowly accumulate items again, but I'm not seeing anything too interesting here today. Nope, nothing new. One of the new features that I think makes the game a lot more fun, and I wish Nintendo just added this when they released the game, is Harv's Island. I think one of the best features of New Leaf and City Folk was being able to go downtown and go shopping. And then in New Horizons, I know we live on a deserted island, but they just completely cut that feature. And they finally brought it back by creating the campsite, but I haven't really gone there many times because... As I was saying earlier, by the time they added these features, we weren't playing the game as much anymore. So going there and checking out what Sahara is selling and Kicks and getting some acorns from Cornimer, those are all things that I want to experience. Oh, here's Harriet. I am 100% convinced that she's in a relationship with Harv and I refuse to believe anything else. Why else would she be sitting up there and not back here? She is waiting for him, for sure. Sometimes you can even see her and Harv just sitting right here by the bonfire, and it is the cutest thing in the world. But see, we have Cornwork here, and if we talk to him, I believe he'll give us some acorns. You, with the space in your pockets, what makes you think you can walk around like that all willy-nilly? Acorns are wonderful, aren't they? Don't say old Cornwork never gave you nothing. Look how cute that is. Um, I don't really need anything for my storage right now, thank you Cornwork. I just really wanted to come collect some acorns. It's just such a cool feature and it only happens in this month. Reese and Cyrus are being cute as ever. I wonder if Leaf is selling any interesting plants. Oh my goodness, they added farming to the game after I stopped playing. So I think I will actually buy some potato seeds and then I'm gonna take five of the wheat as well. Moving right along, we have Red over here with his potentially counterfeit paintings. I have played Animal Crossing my whole life and never completed a museum, so I think that's another goal I have for this series is to actually complete a museum. I really want to decipher which painting is real and fake without cheating. I feel like this one looks fake. Do I just take the risk? How much do these cost? 4,980? I don't know, what does the scary painting actually look like? I feel like this one looks real. I'm just gonna take the risk. You are not gonna regret this, I hope not. I'll get your art packed up and shipped out tomorrow. Okay, thank you, Red. I guess we'll find out tomorrow whether it's real or not. I really need to put a different design on these banners because the dirt hanging from them looks so strange.
All right, so I am gonna get one of these little flower baskets and it's not quite fall themed, so I'm probably gonna replace it relatively soon. But for now, it's just like a nice year round cute pattern to have hanging on those lights. Definitely better than dirt. There we go. Now we have little hanging flower baskets. I also want to replace this street lamp because right now it does not match. I do have a copper street lamp. So I want to place that and then I think I'm going to flatten out a bit more of the back of the island. Like especially back here to start making room for our lake. I'm going to have to get rid of all of these cliffs because the lake can only start around here. And we need a lot of space if we're going to make a realistic lake. One of my favorite things to do in Animal Crossing is go fishing. So most of the water on my island I've intentionally tried to make accessible. Even the sunken waterfall here by Eunice's house can be accessed from up here. Or there's a sneaky little side bit where I made an indentation between these cliffs so you can go fishing from here. And you can even hop over this corner for a better angle although that scared the fish away. Probably not my best idea. What was I doing again? Oh yeah, street light. So let's swap this one out for the other one. There we go. Now it's all matching and centered. And then we'll just do some very basic clearing out of the land. We are back a bit later at night. Not that terraforming my island isn't the most interesting thing I've ever done in my life. I've decided to finish clearing this out off camera, but we can't end a Let's Play episode on a Saturday without a KK Slider concert. And wow, we're actually the only person here. Am I late? I'm feeling the vibes tonight. Especially now that you're on the scene. You ready for a tune? Oh, Judy's here. We're not totally alone. Um, yeah, let's hear a tune. Cool, cool. Any requests? Since there is a massive rainstorm passing through at the moment, I feel like my whole day today has been very laid back and chill. Cool, I'm dialed in. Have a seat and let me jam. Wanna drive slow in the fast lane? I can dig it. Why not tune your dial to KK Dub for a while? I have an extension on my laptop that plays Animal Crossing and KK Slider music throughout the day, but I forget how immersive and lovely the in-game concerts are. I think I'm just gonna sit here and listen to some more KK Slider songs for the rest of the night. But before we end off, that's the last straw! I'm getting a publicist! What, was posting your selfies not going well enough for you? Do you always dress to the nines or is it a special occasion? Wow, thank you, Marshall. Absolutely, I always dress like this. I knew it, folks with good taste can always spot other folks with good taste. I feel like I need to go visit Olivia now and see if she says anything about my outfit because if Olivia likes it, then it's official. This is indeed a good outfit to have chosen today. Which actually reminds me, I need to move her house. She lives on an even sadder pillar of dirt than I do. Ah, oh, Saturday. I can't tell you how much I've been looking forward to doing absolutely nothing. We need to get your house down from that cliff. So you might have to do some moving this weekend. I probably should have moved her house before I removed the ramp in front of it. But I, I, didn't, I didn't plan ahead when I made this decision. I don't have any... Oh, I might be able to fit it here, but I forgot to introduce you all. Dom is our newest villager on Seychelles, and I don't think I've even introduced myself to him, so let's go ahead and say hi. What's up, Judy? Great to see you. Check it out, I'm finally moved in. Thanks for inviting me over. That was swell of you. Now it's my turn to invite you, if you ever want to swim laps. Dom, I, we don't know each other very well yet. If you want to get like a, a donut floaty and just have a good time on the beach together, 
I'll do that with you. I want to enjoy life. It doesn't need to be intense. I do want to chat though. Yo, I've got a vigorous question for you. Which sport would you rather play? I would rather play zero sports with my buddies. Ah, uh, he's still gonna make me pick. Okay, um, I am gonna go with marathon but in my mind i'm talking about a walking marathon like i will easily walk like 20,000, 40,000 steps a day but i i most definitely do not mean a sprinting and or running marathon but walking marathon walk and talk running a marathon is no joke no 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 no, no. not running if you want to run a marathon with your friends you gotta make sure you bring the right ones like me Yes, we, were, we will go on a lovely, long, walking marathon together. Okay, Don? Oh my goodness, he's stretching already. I, I think it's gonna be interesting living with a jock villager on the island. I, I, want, I want to understand you. And, and maybe, and maybe one day I will. Anyways, let's see if Olivia fits here. Ah, no, it's too close to the water. So I am gonna have to, I guess, move all of my green mums to make room. But my pockets are full. I really just have flowers in my pockets that are blocking me from picking additional flowers. If these were normal flowers, I wouldn't mind to just plop her house down, but these green mums. The Jacob ladders, I'm not as concerned about because I think Seychelle is still rated 5 stars. Do not ask me how. So I should be able to get more of those. And her house does not fit there, so I probably have to move these mums as well. Can I place her house here? Yes. I really hope those two green mums don't instantly- <gasps> No, they disappeared! I was just too lazy to clear my pockets again! Oh, I guess I deserve it. See, Dom, I need to learn from you. I can't be lazy anymore. I need to attend my morning aerobics. Oh, we haven't checked in with B yet. Better clear out of here now. I heard skittering. There's a tarantula around. Oh my gosh, what? There's a tarantula? What? I don't have a net on me. Do I have a shed or anything I could- no, I have no way of getting a net. Where's the tarantula? Are you sure there's a tarantula nearby? Like, I kind of want to see it. Now I'm just curious. Oh my gosh, there it is. Oh, it's so big. It did just disappear. Okay, well, that was... I guess we'll be able to talk to V normally now. So much to see, even when you're just out for a walk. Yeah, no kidding. Apparently there's giant spiders roaming the island. Just stop by for a chat. Today's Saturday, which means the Happy Home Academy will be evaluating houses. Oh boy. Um, mine is a minimalist theme. I hope that they'll appreciate it. I'm trying to resist the urge to do a bunch of last minute redecorating. I, I probably should do some redecorating, but it's all right. We'll save that for another day. I think that's where we'll end off today. So I will see you all again tomorrow when we find out whether or not the painting we bought today was real. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Remember to stay hydrated and I will see you all next time. Bye everybody.